Now, what does that mean to you in terms of Miss Desire? Um, you know what? I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. I mean, the name Miss Desire came about from school days, so you know, like I don't know how it is in America or where you like all. I'm actually I'm actually located in America, yeah. Right, so I don't know how it is in America, but like at school in the UK, we have like our planners where we write our homework and stuff when you're young and you tend to like just like make little graffitis and little tags and we all walked around like little crews and one of our other friends was called Sweetness and I was called Desire and that's how it just kind of stuck from there. I see that you have something coming up with Precision Production. Yes, I'm actually I want, And that's for the 2012 season? Yes. How did you connect with uh, those power brokers <laughs> in the business uh, Precision Productions? Well, um, Ashwin and the newest member of Precision Productions. He's actually from the UK um, and he used to work, well, he used to live in the UK and he was working previously with Co Combination Studios, which is another studio down here in the UK. Mm -hmm. But he went to Trinidad and he was always doing music. So I, I knew him all the time. And he done something for Precision and Casey and them really liked it, opened it up to him, said that they want him to be part of the production group. Um, so then he went off to Trinidad and left everyone in cold England. Uh, <laughs> but I kept the, the connection all the time. I mean, because we were friends first and foremost, so I always used to speak back and forth to him. And funny enough, it was around this time last year that I was saying to him, man, I really want to broaden out my music because I tend to have only have done stuff for the crop over season and then for the Notting Hill season. So I was saying to him, I want to do something for Trinidad. And he was like, yeah, cool. Well, you can do it, but you just got to plan it properly. He said he would speak to Casey and see what could come about. And um, I was like, all right, cool. But I was like, you know, because it was like November. It was like around September, October time last year. So I was like, I want to release something now for Trinidad. And he was like, no, it doesn't work like that. Like the songs are coming out already. So he was like, if I'm really serious to just hold fire and wait and do it next year which is this <laughs> and um, I was like cool um, he spoke to Casey and then they invited me down for summer July this year to come and record so that's how it came about I just followed through with the advice that he gave me and went down into Trinidad in July um, during the crop over season I flew over to Trinidad and recorded <laughs> what that's powerful stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> Caribbean Lifestyle Media, your online source for the latest music, videos, in-depth interviews, and stories about your favorite Caribbean artists you'll never get anywhere else. Check us out on the web at the following websites, dancealsoca.com, idancealreggae.com, dsoca.com. They make the music, we tell you the stories. Welcome to your destination. <laughs>